and Shrining Entertainment, Catgacating, Live Performances, Karchi Tons, Exarcer Dre Lollipops, A Pacidice of Sweet Teats. What is that? It's the end of... Hi, friends. Oh no, the paint came off. When I went to Party City to get this mask, they had all the colors in stock except silver. So I guess other people had this idea before I did. Should I just keep the wig on? Maybe I'll just keep the wig on. So you may or may not have heard about the disastrous Willy Wonka experience that recently went down in Glasgow. For those unfamiliar, here's the event's website, which is still up. Dive into the whimsical of Willy's Chocolate Experience, a place where chocolate dreams become reality. We've got the Enchanted Garden, the Twilight Tunnel, the Indignation Lab. This website is full of typos, which is genuinely surprising given that all the copy is clearly AI generated. The person who organized this event is a big fan of AI, more on that later. Book your adventure now and embark on a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. And what enchanting surprises they found. The venue turned out to be a dirty, empty warehouse with like a couple of tables and some strewn about props. It was so disappointing that it left kids crying and eventually parents called the police. People were shouting, people who put on the event were crying, there were arguments, people running around everywhere, the set had been trashed. This picture of one of the Oompa Loompas went viral in which she's wearing a sexy Oompa Loompa costume and appears to be running a meth lab. She, she got so much hate for this picture, but as things go on the internet, the tides turned for her and they turned hard. New mother pics just dropped. The hero we need but don't deserve. Justice for Kirsty Patterson. This queen did her best with those kids despite the shit show she was in. This wig makes me look like a goth Carrie Mulligan in Saltburn. <laughs> I want to take it off, but we're too we're in too deep now. Then we've got this guy who was supposed to play Willy Wonka. Sorry, Willie McDuff. What is this guy? The Thane of Fife? That one's for my Bardolators. He went on TikTok and talked about the whole experience. I got cast as the part on the Thursday and was told that I needed to learn the script for the Friday. So I said, no problem, send it over. The script was 15 pages monologue pretty much of ai generated gibberish there is a man we don't know his name we know him as the unknown this unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls the unknown is a character completely made up by whatever ai they had write this which is probably why the costume is literally just a chrome mask and a cloak he's played by a 16 year old girl who according to this interview was originally cast to play willie mcduff the event didn't even have chocolate they had store-bought lemonade and single digit numbers of jelly beans i was already rationing the jelly beans to three per kid and that was me being generous we were told on the uh, experience to hand out a jelly bean, one jelly bean uh, per child, and a quarter of a cup of Tesco's own brand lemonade. Can you imagine paying $45 to go to an event where you get a quarter cup of lemonade and one jelly bean? Also, if you can believe it, the actors never got paid. Some of you right now are probably thinking, Cameron, I already know all of this, but do you know about the event's organizer and his long storied history with AI-fueled scams? Since this whole Willy Wonka thing went viral, he's tried to scrub his internet presence, but you can still find his personal website with the Wayback Machine. He advertises several degrees from UOS. He appears to have one, two, three PhDs and an MBA. One of his PhDs is in theocentric psychology. When you look up theocentric psychology, all of the results are from University of Sedona, so I guess that's UOS. World's largest metaphysical university system. Okay. He's the founder and CEO of Empowerity, a company he didn't capitalize, that can enable even average Joe start and grow a widely profitable businesses. Okay, so this is their filing history, which says that they were dissolved via compulsory strike-off in November 2023. And there's our boy! There's our boy! This is his Instagram. Um... What am I looking at? Oh my god! Not the AI-generated cover. 
So his Instagram features ads for his many books available on Amazon. There's a really good folding ideas video about the Amazon self-publishing grift. So this caught my attention. Meet Rosie Black, a woman whose life was forever altered when she became ensnared in the clutches of an insidious international trafficking ring. All right, so this was published on July 9th, 2023. He has a bunch of other books down here, 57 pages. The Hidden Babil, August 5th, 2023. The Quantum Paradox. August 3rd, 2023. The Biohazard Protocol, August 1st, 2023. He's really, he's pumping these books out. The Prophecy Matrix, also August 1st, 2023. Oh God, what is the Shadow Directive? A secret government program known as the Shadow Directive, a malevolent force designed to manipulate public opinion and control influential figures. Along the way, they realize the high price of truth as sacrifices are made and the toll of their battles weighs heavily on their souls. Okay, I'm 100% sure this is AI generated. 100%, let's fucking go. Oh my God, there's so many books. There's so many books. Operation inoculation. Oh no. Unveiling the a conspiratorial journey into vaccination truths deep state conspiracy. Published July 8th. As Sarah delves deeper into her investigation, the carefully constructed facade of the vaccination campaign begins to crumble. She uncovers a web of intrigue with powerful forces manipulating information and manipulating public perception for their own gain. So this is what gives me pause about Selling Innocence, which was published a day later because we've got vaccination conspiracies and human trafficking and I'm just, I'm getting some QAnon vibes. I wonder if these covers are AI generated too. Oh, these ones definitely are. <laughs> oh my God. Look, AI is very often cool and useful, but tech bros who think it's gonna replace actual human creativity are such a blight. I feel like there've been enough spiels about how most AI art is inseparable from grift because to strip art of human care and imagination is to fundamentally reduce its artistic utility and communicative ability. Look, look at this fan art that people made, like actual fan art that isn't AI generated marketing slop. Okay, so I noticed this thing the other day while watching a video, which is that when you say hit that like button, the like button lights up. So hit that like button. And now that it's all rainbow, you have to hit it. You have to, come on. Also go watch my other videos to find out what my real hair looks like. I'm doing my best out here. Okay, okay, bye.